Hey, how you doing? Justin here, and today I've got Ariel Posen in to give me some slide guitar tips. I've played a little bit of slide guitar, but we'll kind of, let's go for, right from the beginning. If somebody's getting into slide guitar, what are the things they need to be thinking about first of all? Okay, the first couple things actually have nothing to do with playing, Wait. but they're just the okay. most important. Um, Gear. Most people, yeah. Getting the right pedals. You gotta get the right <laughs> delay pedal. <laughs> no, um, it's the slide. So okay. everyone just goes to the guitar store and they take the first slide that they see, they buy it, and they take it home and they start playing. And I think most of the time you, they play and it's like really difficult and they go, maybe I'm just not good at this. You know, it's really clanky, it's big mm -hmm. on my finger. Maybe slide's not for me. But I'm, te I'm here to tell you, uh, it, it's a journey. Like you gotta try as many as you can because um, the way I like to wear a slide, and if it works for you differently, awesome what works for me is i like the slide to you know not be suffocating but not loose at the same time mm -hmm. it should just be like a glove uh-huh a glove on your finger a fluff a finger glove a, a fluff a fluff okay. i like that actually is that the, the name of your no it's not you've got your own model that's I yeah think it has to be called, be the, called fluff. the fluff the fluff but that way it feels just like your finger anyways uh -huh. and now you just put this thing on and it's something that's embellishing what you're already doing so you don't want to have to put a slide on and then like restart your technique from the beginning. Mm -hmm. If you've been playing guitar forever and you have some great chops and technique, there's no reason for you to throw that out the garbage with the slide. So mm -hmm. make sure you get a slide that fits properly. It doesn't matter what finger you play on. All my favorites yeah. play on their ring finger. See, I, it, it's, I know, a lot of my favorites play with it on the little finger, but my little finger is just uncooperative. And if I do that, it seems to mean that I can't use the other fingers. Like little finger wants to bend with this one yeah. and it makes the whole thing just frustrating so if I put on that finger I feel like I can grip yeah. it better and it's there's no right or wrong what but... works for you is important uh -huh. so find a slide that fits okay doesn't matter fits what snugly fits snugly yeah yeah, yeah. Um, like a fluff like a fluff you're gonna want to raise your action a bit on whatever guitar you're uh -huh. using because it's it just physics you're, you're putting a slide against the strings they have to hold their own weight against it uh -huh. uh, so raise your action. Oh. Sorry, I've got a question on the slides thing. Yeah. I found that a really heavy slide feels better for me and I feel like I make contact with the string better. Mm -hmm. But that slide didn't feel very weighty. Is that just a preference thing or do you think there's disadvantages with the heavy or the lighter? Because obviously a glass or ceramic slide is going to be a lot lighter than a metal one or whatever. Yeah. I like a bit more weight too. I'd say this is okay. in between. Like a okay. lot of people have taking this kind of slide and go, oh, it's pretty heavy. And I go, is it really? I, well, I guess I, it's kind of I mean, heavy. That feels... I mean, that's... They're pretty close, actually. Oh, actually, yeah. There's yeah. more weight in that than I... Uh, yeah, I prefer that. I mean, uh -huh. I don't like a light slide, but it's all about how it reacts to the string. So if, you, if you're only playing tens and your action is like you're kissing the mm -hmm. fretboard with your... It's like, it doesn't matter what slide you're playing. You're going to have gonna a really get... hard time. Yeah. I tell people that you need to... If you're going to play a slide... You need to make the guitar work for you. Mm -hmm. You need to make, you got to set it up a certain way to do it properly, you know, because yeah, yeah. you're, you're kind of pressing down, but really I, you should be really light with your sliding hand mm -hmm. and have all your attack come from your right hand or your left hand if you're left-handed. I, I felt the weight of the slide helped make that positive contact, but light. Yeah. Is that, I don't know how to describe so it. Like, so I, yeah. maybe we'll do this, but I just want to, because we're in the same tuning here, yeah. I'm already noticing that your action can come up quite a bit because huh. I hear you fretting out sometimes. Okay. Um, I literally got this guitar a week ago because I was doing your song. Yeah. <laughs> so just give me, it just yeah. out of curiosity, yeah. play, yeah. play us a little something for a sec. Uh, uh. Okay. 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 Do the exact same thing with this guitar. Okay. Oh, yep. Uh, the best way to Clunk, clunk. Right. God, this is heavy as well, the guitar, feels like. Or is it because I picked it up awkwardly? So you can, you feels can immediately... Feels completely different. But, you, but what, what you're feeling is the action is way higher. But you feel like you can dig in a bit, uh -huh. right? Yeah, totally. 
the I get point my is that you, you're so difficult as well. Yeah. The, the point is that you don't want to have to hold back with the slide. You can feel like you can dig in a little bit more because there's a little bit of fight. So mm -hmm. I prefer that for slide playing because if you're already kissing the fretboard, there's nothing for you to do. You're gonna get that rub on the fret. You're gonna get that rub. You're gonna get that buzzing out thing, mm -hmm. like those ugly noises. Yeah. Um, so I always just say, it doesn't matter necessarily what the string gauge is. I wouldn't go any lower than 11s if you're playing in standard tuning, mm -hmm. personally. Um, but just raise that action. Mm -hmm. That's all I can say. And you'll and get used to it. Is it one where you've had to find the sweet spot? Because if you've raised the action up, if you're playing fretted chords, when you press down to the fretboard, yeah. then they're going to go out of tune, right? I don't have, a, I don't have an exact measurement. Just you just My text just know you've now. Mucked it around. I just, I just know where I kind of like it. So if I get a... If I take a guitar in to get worked on, and they say, how's this play? And I go, okay. Uh, it's like, yeah, I can do both, but a little higher, actually, or, or a yeah, little yeah, lower, okay. and then we'll just kind of find so it. So you don't do it yourself? You no, I don't trust it. myself right, doing okay. that. Right. So you just say, yeah, you get it, and then go a little higher, a little lower, and you find the balance where you're not fretting out, but you can still play your chords. And it's yeah, high enough, to, high enough to slide, low enough. To, to play to comfortably fret. but dig yeah. in as well and that's doesn't matter if that's open tuning or standard tuning mm -hmm. every guitar is like that it has to be at a point where i can do both yeah, yeah. so you, you when you play standard tuning though you're playing standard tuning drop down to a b with thick strings on right? on this guitar i am yeah but i do you, still you, play you still a lot play in standard regular tuning. yeah, yeah, you yeah. Do, oh, okay. i've just been committing to this lately because i've really just been enjoying it yeah right. and it's been and it gives me a whole other octave of range below, uh -huh. and it's fun. I'm just, I'm just really enjoying it. So it's not like you never play standard no, no. tuning anymore. No, I still right? play in okay. standard tuning, uh -huh. um, but just not as much. Cool. Yeah. So okay. yeah, those are the the three main things off the top. Get a slide that fits, slightly heavier strings, and raise your action. Okay. Those are just like prerequisites that you're going to want. Just to make of. it easier for your journey. Yeah, um, and then in terms of technique. Um, one common thing that a lot of people do, which is a good habit to get away from, um, when they're playing, you know, if we're playing on the high <laughs> string here and we go, you know, we use mm -hmm. the tip of our fingers. Mm -hmm. If you were to play it, if you were to play it with the slide, what would it look like? No. Oh. Yo, I need to write okay. the action. Let's try it. Okay. Oh, oh okay. God. This is perfect. This is perfect. So everybody see how Justin's playing it. The equivalent, yeah. the equivalent of how you're playing right now is like this. Uh -huh. So like you wouldn't do that without, you wouldn't the do that without be, a slide. Yeah, so right. you want to be on the tip as much as you can. Because uh, you'll have the most control. Uh -huh. Even lower if you can. Even there. And I'm having to mute yeah. it behind as well, right? Are you muting always behind the? Yeah, with your third finger. Is that third finger? Still I guess so. Yeah, there? I never think about it. Well, when you if you don't mute, you get that the notes behind. You get a note behind if you don't. But that's mute, also right? because yeah. your your action's too low. Uh huh. And it's the lightest string of all of them, you know. Yeah. But yeah, it's good to get into a habit of. Being on the being tip. focused of yeah. where you because that's just going to help with your intonation, you know, any vibrato, just overall sound and playing. So you if, you're not, be... if you're not playing a chord, you're trying to move the finger so it's the the tip of yeah the slide yeah okay exactly. So if I'm always kind of on the tip yeah so now then is, is that a thing for you or is that something else that the a lot of the slide masters would be doing as well and i just haven't noticed before do you know have you i don't know actually okay. that's just what i do yeah, yeah. that's what it's no, I was just me. curious if you'd like who did you study when you did slide guitar or you didn't you just well, mucked around and found your own thing i mean uh from the beatles like george played mm -hmm. some tasty slide and you know eventually you hear guys like derek trucks and Ry Cooter, and uh, I got into this guy named Kevin Bright, who's uh, from Can from Canada. Jeez, little was on an airplane. <laughs> Jet lagged. All night. Yeah. Um, Kevin Bright from Canada. B R E I T. He was the first guy I heard doing stuff like. <laughs> uh, 
or just oh wow i was hearing like i you know to an extent i just he was the first guy i heard doing chords doing some droning stuff like that and mm -hmm. real moving stuff that really spoke to me i was like oh my god because the stuff like the Derek trucks like the the, the way he sounds like a vocalist is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. But the, the other stuff I heard was what really spoke to me or inspired me to really want to try to take a piece of that and make it my own. Mm -hmm. um, wow. Yeah. Okay. So you, is the round tip of your slide really important for that part? Like I'm just no. thinking it like I can do it with that, but I'm not sure if No, be, because I'm not ever playing like right on the... Uh -huh. You know, I'm still exactly... Yeah, I'm yeah, basically yeah. playing right right there too. It's just that I have the the, the dome yeah, yeah, thing yeah, on yeah, top. Okay, yeah. It's just there to to make your uh, your whenever you're resonating wherever you are just less harsh. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Uh -huh. I just kind of like it. I'm just used to it. So tip of the finger where you should be. Uh, are you tending to think right on the fret, slightly above the fret? It, you know yeah. how so you for intonation. Yeah. Here's the th crazy thing is it so let's say we're on the seventh fret here yeah. Little bit of uh -huh. cha pitch change with the slide. It's crazy difference So check yeah. that out I'm, I'm on the yeah. fret and it's uh -huh. like totally flat yeah, yeah. And that's in tune. Typically, the best spot you want to be is right behind the, the next fret. Uh, okay. So if you're playing on the seventh fret, you want to be just behind the eighth fret. I always feel like, my, to my eyes, it looks like I'm slightly forward of it, but that could be to do with me having the fret on the same... Like, I'm not thinking here, which yeah. I should. I'm th if, I've got, if I'm covering all of them, right. it looks like it's slightly ahead of it when it's in yeah. tune. But it does look like it. Yeah. You know, like the, even uh -huh. that little difference. Of yeah, makes a huge, that, I think that's the part that I find the hardest is yeah. trying to keep it in tune. That's the, the hardest part about slide and I, I'm, I'm not saying, yeah, yeah. you know, it, it's hard to keep it in tune. Uh -huh. It's a daily struggle to play that's in tune. Something just to remind ourselves of some exercises for playing in tune would mm. be really good. I noticed uh, when you were talking about the Mr. Bright, uh, he was doing drone strings while you were playing and I'm yeah. thinking that would be a good way to keep yourself in tune because if you're only playing on your own it's hard to intonate if there's yeah. just one melody line but well here's a good exercise strings, right out know. the gate here's a good exercise let's say you drone either one of the the ones uh -huh. of you, yeah. you know and you just play a major scale on the top string You know, you could even do it with a tuner on, and you can actually tune yourself. You know, if you have a, a headstock uh -huh. tuner or something, you can actually look to see, okay, that's where it's in tune. But really, mm. just use your ear. The, it's it's going to be the best when you use your ear. Don't strike me as the guy that was using the tuner. No. No. But you could, it's something yeah, you yeah, could yeah. do. Uh -huh. But you can just hear when, like, you're playing a third. Mm -hmm. There's, there's like, that crunch that you get, but it's the... There's the, like the I'm uh -huh. in tune playing a third crunch that you And you don't really uh -huh. get it for a minor third. It's, it's always on a major. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think it sounds more in tune as a major third than we get in the guitar in standard tuning if we're yeah. not playing with a slide. There's something totally. more thirdsy about it. I don't, yeah. I don't understand how yeah. it works. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Um, okay. I've yeah, and then, okay, so that's a huge part. Huge, huge, huge part. Um, but yes, another gigantic thing that is important is muting. You are kind uh -huh. of you keep kind of bringing it up. Um, so a lot of people are always thinking about you know if you're playing, shouldn't my fingers be dampening behind? Uh -huh. Subconsciously, I think I kind of always there's something behind it always. Yeah. But if they weren't, yeah, it's a little bit noisier. Uh -huh. But I tell people to just also not think about what their left hand is doing. So like if you're going, see that? Like uh -huh. my hand just does that a lot when I do single note you stuff for some reason. point at people randomly. I point at people, yeah. hey. 
It's good to just uh -huh. like let your hand do what it wants to do. I like to see, I like to tell people to like keep your thumb down on the, on the mm -hmm. neck too. It's just gonna give you more control. Yeah. Because a lot of people, when they first start playing slides, uh -huh. they do this. They're hovering. Yeah. And I tell everybody not to do this. And then last summer I was playing a festival and watching Ry Cooter play. And he got up there and he did it. I was oh, like, oh, there. Oh, no. But not all the time. Just, not all the time. Yeah, yeah. But he did it. I was like, oh, no. Well, if Ry Cooter's doing it, then do yeah, whatever yeah, you yeah. want. But having the thumb down really gives you the control. Uh -huh. But the main muting for me that I think about is on the right hand. Mm -hmm. And eight out of 10 times I'm playing with my fingers for slide. Mm -hmm. A, because I like the sound of it. Like the difference of this and this. Yeah. There's something warmer and sweeter with your fingers. I don't even understand how somebody could play with a pick slide guitar because you can't control all of the... <laughs> Yeah, you're always okay. going to get well, notes I mean, ringing. I'd expect that you'd be able to do it. No, but you're, but you, I was having, there was a lot of ringing out of notes I didn't want. It's considerably harder, right? So yeah. for somebody getting into it, they shouldn't be trying to start with a pick. Well, it'll be easier just to start with your fingers, uh -huh. for sure. And it just sounds better, to me at mm -hmm. least. And it lets you mute easier. And the way I think of it, I, I call it the sandwiching technique. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if we're going to play the second string, typically I'm playing with my middle finger and I'm holding the two strings surrounding it with these fingers. Uh -huh. um, and then I'm sitting with my thumb on the rest of the string so that you're really only hearing that string. And it lets you... And then if I'm, str if I'm switching strings, see? Uh -huh. Now I've switched to that string. Exactly, so if you go down one more, you're playing on the third string. Yeah. What's going to be muting the thinner string? Those. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm kind okay. of sitting on it. Yeah, yeah. So it, it, for me, it's gotten to this subconscious spot where I never think about it. If, uh -huh. I'm, if I'm doing like a... My hands are just constantly... Mm. String skipping and, and sandwiching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. You need to get it to a point where you don't think about it, uh -huh. I find is the key element here. Um, yeah. But if you start small and you know, pr it's good to practice slide stuff horizontally because that's what's going to give you that singer quality, you know? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, like, don't worry about the vertical stuff, I'd say, as much. I think take the scales you're comfortable with major scale, minor scale, pentatonic scale. And just play them up and down horizontally, <laughs> up and down. You know what yeah, I mean. Yeah. On every string. Yeah. And and just practice your muting, and eventually muting and getting yourself in tune, because that's yeah. You know, it is. I, I found it easier, or still find it easier, to zip up and down one string. It seems to me like a lot of the licks are where you start to cross into other strings to get particular little phrases. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, whatever, yeah. Where there's little, yeah, little kind of blues yeah, phrases yeah, yeah. is where it's involved with the crossing, but thinking on one string is perhaps forcing me to be more melodic. Yeah. To just be thinking in terms of a melody and a phrase rather than a lick. Yeah. Does that, I don't know. Totally. I mean, like if you were to sing it, la, ba, da, da, you know, you wouldn't go, yeah, that sounds like a singer. You'd want. You could really milk it, uh -huh. but, uh, you know, and just like it's a singer. It's incredibly vocal, isn't it? Yeah, Slide. And like with vibrato, you know, some singers might go, yeah, right away. Uh -huh. Some might go, yeah, and mm -hmm. you do the same thing. There's all these different uh -huh. variations of it. Um, it's great. That's, what, that's one of the things I love so much about it. And the fact that you can bend those notes in ways that you can't with your fingers, you know? You know, you can really bend pitch. Now, I'm going to go a little, slightly more advanced now on you. So okay. with the muting thing, I totally get the muting the strings that you're not playing to yeah. keep them quiet. But there's also seems to be 
when when you start playing more fancy stuff there's an element of muting the string that you are playing as well for the like how long the notes are held for because not every note is held until the, the next note yeah so is that again is that something conscious i suspect it's unconscious that yeah. it's just something that you're you hear a sound or a, a, a phrase that you want to hear and your your fingers are doing the finding totally of that. it's it's all subconscious like you can't i find you start really saying what you want to say when you don't think about it yeah and like a lot of these techniques mm -hmm. are at a point where i don't think about it anymore I, they just did you think about it and this is an interesting so there were times yes yeah. when when i was when i noticed that you know i'm still hearing buzzing from another string or i'm, I'm hearing mm -hmm. this still and i don't like that that's what i would hear that's when I would notice things and that's what I would work on it and think about mm -hmm. it. And the best way to do that is I record myself all the time. It's so like grab your phone, voice memo mm -hmm. yourself. Because when you're playing, you can't really gauge how it's sounding. Mm -hmm. It might feel really good and then you listen back and you're like, oh, that's uh, not really in tune or that's not feeling so good. And then another time you might be playing and in the moment you're like, it's not working for me. Mm -hmm. this is... And then you listen and you're like, actually that sat really well. Mm -hmm. It's hard when you're playing. Yeah. You really hear what's good and what's not when you record yourself. Mm -hmm. I think, I tell people it's like, you know, you see someone on the street and they say, hey Justin, and you see them and you, in your head you're going, hey! But really, in real life you're going, hey. Like you're not emoting the way that uh -huh. you feel like you are. And then someone catches it on video and you go, oh my God, is that what I look like when I was just, yes. I was totally excited to see that person. Uh -huh. I gotta change, I gotta uh -huh. show more, you know? It's mm -hmm. the same thing with playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And technique stuff. I'm, I'm sh a hundred percent certain that recording myself has made a big difference, but even with this YouTube -y thing, yeah. because I'm having to watch myself all the time yeah. and I'm a bit fussy. So if things are not right, I often redo them. So I make stacks of videos that I ditch because I'm like, that wasn't good enough or, make or whatever, it, make, you make know? Cut, yeah. So, uh, and each time I guess it's forcing me to up my game a little bit. So yeah, exactly. completely yeah. agree. Uh, either either video as well I think is in some ways helpful as well because you can kind of see 100%. what you might be doing that's wrong as opposed to just hearing it yeah. you know I found uh, uh, I definitely listened back to myself with audio and found mistakes but video made it even more it's like oh is that how holds, it's... The, holds the mirror up yeah. yeah absolutely you get to check out your guitar face too so I think that's most of the kind of the, the fundamental techniques. Absolutely. So the next stage for someone would just be experimenting, right? Go and have some fun playing with backing tracks maybe is a good idea to help with the intonation thing. Absolutely. Play to backing tracks or your own loop if you want. Uh -huh. If you want to just yeah, set, yeah. A, set a drone of some kind of one key and you can just mess around and make sure all your intervals that you're going for are in tune, you know. Mm -hmm. just to like get your ear tuned to it and get it sounding good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just have fun with it. And slide is supposed to be sweet and somber and sad and happy. Don't play fast with slide and don't practice fast, you know? Mm -hmm. Take it slow, milk it. That's, that's when it sounds the best is when you just, you know, sing it. Wicked, that's okay. Really We're gonna talk about some more advanced slide techniques now as well. So right. hopefully you'll join us for that. We'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.